Hey guys, welcome back to another video with me and Ralphie. Ralphie says hi. We wanted to talk to you today about his eyes. So Ralphie has had already one eye surgery where he has had his eyelids lifted because his eyelids started rolling into his eyes and causing his eyes some damage. Now we, I'm trying to get a good picture of his eyes here. Let's try a different angle here. And so you can kind of see what's going on with him. Um, <laughs> he gets so excited when I take the camera out. He just does like all kind of flippies and... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so um yeah. Ralphie's eyes has are they've already been lifted once and he's having some more issues, which the vet said that we can do the surgery again, but it's very invasive. It causes a lot of trauma for them to go under surgery every time. And he could end up with the same issues immediately after surgery because of the way that their skin rolls in and the the fat that accumulates around their face that he didn't suggest it because they're not terrible. He suggested to do drops and um, do a eye supplement, which is our plan. So I'm going to walk you through this um, of what our plan is and some stuff that I've learned. So we're using these natural tears, they are tears, with extra conditioning, and we're also using castor oil. And um, I know it sounds weird, castor oil in your eyes, but it's actually mm. safe for people's eyes as well. And Ralphie really does um, like it, actually. When I put it in his eyes, he, you can tell that it's like conditioning for him. And I, um, I think it's been so helpful. I, I see a difference in his eyes already, actually. They look better. Um, and I do one day a drop in each eye of the castor oil. And then the next day I do two or three times with the Thera drops because the Thera drops aren't as strong. So they don't, um, condition all day long you'll see that the the eyes look a little more dry like not terribly but I just don't want him to have dry eye and have you know lose his vision or anything like that castor oil is actually so good for so many things it can actually help remove things out of the eye and you can use it again on your eyes the one thing you have to know about the castor oil is you have to get the organic castor oil that does not have hexene in it it should say hexane free on the bottle. Um, you don't want to get the uh, organic or cold pressed with hexane in it. You want to get hexane free because if it has hexane in it, it actually can be damaging for your eyes. So you just want to make sure you get that. But uh, on a side note, unrelated, hexane is so, or hexane, oh my gosh, not hexane, castor oil is so good for so many other things. If your dog is having a skin issue of any sort of like, um, not broken skin, but um, when they get the flare ups uh, under the chin, sometimes Ralphie gets that in the summertime. Uh, if you put a little bit of that castor oil on there, it actually will help the crustiness and actually works wonders it also works wonders on you if you are feeling sleepless or if you are having any kind of skin issues or if you're a woman and you have pms um, or cramps or any kind of pain in your back um, or in your joints Again, for the dogs, very good for any kind of pain in the joints as well. You can put the castor oil on and it will help the affected area from the outside. You don't give it to them internally because if you give it to them by mouth, it can actually cause a laxative effect. But if you put it on their skin, um, and usually I put it in Ralphie's eye or if he has a skin issue I rub it on it doesn't smell like anything and I try to rub it where he can't lick at it like under his chin or if I notice he's having a little pain or he like sometimes he jumps weird he jumps down off things which I hate 
But if he jumps down off something and he kind of seems like he has a little limp, I can put some castor oil up on his back where he can't get to it. And actually, it will help with the pain right away, um, as well as humans. So if you're having any pain, you can put some right on yourself. Uh, it's a very great natural substitute for a lot of different ailments. And I really suggest it. I, I, It's my personal opinion. Again, remember, I'm not a vet. I cannot diagnose or give you any treatments. But these are all things that I'm using, things I've researched and I learned. And I just want to share them with somebody else that it might help because, you know, we all can't go to uh, the vet every time and spend millions of dollars on expensive eye drops that maybe won't work as efficiently. Um, I did also get Ralphie some supplements which haven't come in. And when we get those in, we will let you know play by play how they're working. We're going to try them out first before we suggest them and see how they do. Um, their recommended supplement. So with this all being said, I hope you guys have a great day. Rafi loves you. Thanks for watching. And we appreciate all the views and all the comments. Have a great day. Bye-bye.